So I'm on my way to receive my first ever Tantra massage. And no, I'm not in India. I am in Berlin still. Will I laugh? Will I cry? Will you see me come? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Mm -hmm. What is a Tantra massage? <laughs> yeah, that's a, um, a very common question. But um, there are many ways to, to approach that, so it depends how you look at it. But mainly a Tantra massage is a ritual that is designed to bring energy to flow in the body. So we apply the principles of Tantra to body work, to massage. And the idea is for you to experience all of yourself, so not leaving any part of you behind, not any part of the body and also not any part of who you are and what you're feeling. But how do you feel what I'm feeling? You mean? <laughs> I feel cold and I don't have noise in my head, it's quiet in my head. Mm. So keep on breathing a little bit deeper, it doesn't need to be too strong, but yeah, just let your exhales come out through the mouth. And I would come a little bit closer to you, is that alright? Yes. Okay, I'll do it very slow and you notice how it feels like. If you want to open your eyes at any moment, that's fine. Otherwise, just keep them close. <sighs> I guess I feel safe. Well, we're always um, reflecting each other, right? Um, sometimes it can be the posture. Someone, if you're having a conversation and you change your posture, the other person might change. So we're in each other's field, so to say, and we sense each other. So I'm not feeling exactly what you're feeling, but I have a good impression in my system of what's going on in yours. But we always check in with you if that's actually what you're feeling. One thing that I also thought about is that uh, whenever a person is like a guru or like has this kind of approach to something, the person may be able to use that into like in a way where they know better what you need. So how do you work with consent and boundaries? Mm -hmm. I love that you asked that question. It's super important to talk about that because it actually happens quite a lot in the Tantra scene internationally that there are stories of abuse because of this guru relationship. And we don't believe in that. We follow a tradition or an understanding that you are your own guru. You need to know what's best for you and you should never give this power away to someone else. It's also for us part of the Tantric learning to learn to have um, your own authority over your life. 
And when there is this dynamic of guru, it's indeed very dangerous because then you give over control also to decide what feels right or wrong for you. Um, so the way we work with it is that we empower people to um, speak about what feels right for them. So the approach that we use um, uses open communication during the massage. So I will ask you at different moments, what are you feeling? What are you experiencing? And this is to create an opportunity for you to start to use words to describe your inner experience, um, but also to give you a chance to express any boundaries. What's going on? It's like you're relaxed in here too. Mm -hmm. Just like relaxed on the belly too. So what's the difference between a normal massage and a tantra massage? Mm -hmm. um, well, a normal, there are many different types of normal massages, but um, normal massage uh, doesn't include certain parts of your body. Your erogenous zones, basically. Um, nipples, breasts for women and genital area. Um, so it's a part of you that is completely put aside. So you're touched, energy moves, and you release in different parts, but you're excluded from one actually quite important part of yourself. So the Tantra massage welcomes all of you, includes all of you. So the space is open for all of your body to be touched if that feels right for you at that moment. Um, and also all of your feelings are welcome and so that energy can flow because what happens is that when, when we have feelings that we haven't processed we sort of hold together to keep them there right we tense up to keep them there for instance if i have a pattern of feeling fear in my life for different reasons i'm gonna hold together and tense if i do that chronically it's gonna be sort of in my system um, so in the Tantra massage is also about feeling those things that are not conscious so that they can be felt completely and relax afterwards and open space for your body to be more relaxed and for more energy to flow through. Um, and then sexual energy is also welcome to arise if that is present at the moment. So there's also not a must for sexual energy to be there or for orgasm to be there. Um, but if it's there, we play with that as well. We move that energy and if an orgasm happens, that's welcome. If it doesn't happen, it's welcome. So whatever happens is, yeah. is beautiful. And speaking of orgasming, mm -hmm. is that healing in any way, you think? Orgasm uh, liberates oxytocin and dopamine in your body. So that's the feel-good hormone and the connection hormone. So it makes you feel connected with other human beings, but also deeply with yourself or with the universe. And it also makes you feel good. So that is what healing is at the end, right? We want to feel good. We want to feel connected. But from a tantric point of view, it's interesting not to focus only on the orgasm because there's so much more to the human experience and also the idea is to release all the tensions that we carry so that our body is as fluid as flexible as possible for energy to flow through and once um, they say in tantra all of our chakras are open then we can have a deeper sort of orgasm, a full body orgasm, or sometimes it doesn't even need so much genital touch, but is this orgasm that makes you feel connected with all of existence, that makes you feel good on earth and happy with yourself. And mm. yeah, that's the deeper place that Tantra invites us to explore. I think Ava fell asleep for a second. Mm -hmm. Sleep, that's what the body probably needs. I like 
to just observe it. Follow the guidance of your hips. How's the pressure for you? feeling like super super relaxed yeah. like if I just um, like a little tingly in the body I would say like how I can feel after a sauna but like 10 times more mm -hmm. wow. yeah super relaxed your face looks very relaxed I'm and so shiny. relaxed <laughs> <laughs> yeah very relaxed it was lovely thank you so much Absolutely. Really, yeah, it's really something different than a mm. traditional massage. Mm -hmm. Like in every sense, I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Recommended? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>